Hey Corey, I'm just going to do the uh, video for you on the fermentation chamber box, just to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, before I start, my neighbour made this, so I don't know exactly how he put it together. Um, but it's basically a wooden crate or box. Um, it has a removable top, which I don't know if that's entirely necessary. The only reason you want to take the top off is if you needed access um, uh, for, from the top for a taller fermenter maybe, I, I don't know. But I haven't really had any reason to take the top off. Um, it has a removable front door, which is lined as well. So everything has to be lined, top, bottom, etc. So it's a removable door, it's hinged at the top. Yeah, so once it's in place you can just flip the top part down and check on the airlock or whatever. But um, I don't actually know if you need it to be hinged. If it came off in one piece I think that would be fine. Uh, it's also got a little slot here just so you can check out the temperature strip on the um, pail. Or what I use it for is I have the wire from my thermometer coming through here and just have the little display sitting outside and just close the gap with that. Um, yeah, so I think any, if you could get a large wooden crate of some description or box, um, the most important thing obviously is to line it. This is 15 mil thick um, polystyrene. And um, yeah, that seems to have done a good job. I mean, it's basically just a giant chili bin. Um, in fact, if you could get a large enough chili bin, you could possibly lie it uh, in the same orientation as this um, fermentation chamber. Have the lid at the front, maybe. I don't know if that may work. Um, and the only other thing in here is it's got a tiny light bulb, which is hooked up to the... Um, temperature controller so you yeah, just when the temperature drops down below a certain level the light bulb comes on it's only a small 20-25 watt bulb um, and I just put this piece of wood in the corner like that just to shield the heat from the bulb itself um, sorry shield the plastic fermenter from the, the heat direct heat from the light bulb um, but with that 20-25 watt bulb it works really good. I mean I'm in the garage here, might be getting down to sort of 4 degrees Celsius and um, that bulb's sufficient to keep the temperature um, you know, up at around 17-18 degrees Celsius. Um, if it wasn't sufficient you could, I guess you could just put a bigger bulb in there. Um, the other option obviously is to hook it up to a heat pad, um, which is probably what most people would do. Uh, but I already had the bulb sitting in there, so I didn't want to uh, go out and buy something else. So yeah, so this will work, this fermentation chamber will work really well in the winter. And in the summer, um, you can put um, big ice packs down the side. Um, they work pretty well. Um, I think my neighbour put these um, pieces of wood here, so you could put a shelf across. And then on top you could put a... Um, say a tray that's been put into the freezer full of water and that will um, that will help to um, bring the temperature down. Um, yeah, so that's about it. What I'll do at the end of the video, I'll measure the dimensions, but it's big enough to take my 10 litre pail and also I've got a full size um, fermenter um, you know, for a 23 litre batch, that fits in there fine as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, hopefully I have covered off most, most things. Um, just give us a yell if I haven't. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, asking more about it. Okay, cheers.